Welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new here, my name is Nken. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're not, thank you for sticking with me this far. Um, I know it's not really been. <laughs> it's not really. Let me tell you guys, YouTube is hell of a job. It's like it's. God, why is my my battery blinking? Okay, if he goes off, I will film the rest of this on my phone, but let's get into it okay today's video is going to be um q a video i posted on my instagram facebook uh whatsapp about wanting to do a q a video because i haven't done one in such a long time and i asked you guys to ask me a question so a few people ask me a question let me tell you guys you people are just not i don't know what's wrong with the people on my instagram and whatsapp but just so non let me hold our thought anyway we are going to get into the questions i have about um one two three four five nine ten twelve questions twelve questions to go through so hopefully this is going to be a short one and i'm going to start with the first one so see one five four three let's do it um so the first one is any advice for newbie migrants um so as some of you know i've recently just moved to england to work here as a nurse it wasn't like um an easy decision for me to make i really love being in nigeria nigeria is just such a vibe like <coughs> excuse me nigeria is just awesome anyway i've just recently moved to england and i'm still trying to find my bearing but for me, the advice would be, don't get your hopes up. Girl, dude, do not get your hopes up. This country is going to disappoint you. Be ready for that, especially if you're used to being comfortable in Nigeria. You are going to struggle a lot. You're going to struggle a lot with finding a place, moving around, integrating with the people who are here. Generally, just getting on with your everyday life. You're going to struggle. Or keep an open mind and be hopeful that you know you will get through that struggle do not get me wrong it's not bad it's not heaven either because a lot of people have this notion that once you move abroad that you know you'll be bullied it's not true for every single penny you make it you're going to work for it you're going to put in the sweat that's basically it but yeah don't don't get your hopes up high you know plan ahead of time when you move just you know take a few months even take a year to like find yourself find your footing because you're going to struggle with a lot of things make sure you've gotten to a place that you're comfortable and you can get through every day of your life with without you know struggle, struggling with even the tiniest of things to go to i mean i live quite close to sainsbury um, to buy but to go to Sainsbury to buy groceries is I, I actually like I think it through because I, I want to buy a lot of things but I don't have the energy to carry four or five shopping bags on my way out and walk home and it's pretty much about five minutes walk from here to Sainsbury do you understand what I mean so you're going to struggle the first few months or a year but that's okay don't get your hopes up high okay so number question Question. question number two would be would you classify yourself as a serial entrepreneur if yes what fuels you in your path hmm. i don't think i will i will classify myself as a serial maybe i should because you know i've done like a couple of things i've done a couple of businesses i am still in a clothing business i used to so really nice beautiful hair as you can see this is from one of my suppliers i haven't bought hair in a long time and i decided to get this and it came in like two weeks ago so yeah this is pretty much the first time i'm wearing it or oh, the second time i'm actually wearing it out and to do stuff but anyway yes i think i would actually classify myself as a serial entrepreneur but i think that for me i'm a very talented person if i do this for myself and I get bored easily with things. So if I see something that I'm really passionate about or I'm really interested in, I even when I get tired or frustrated with it, I find, you know, 
new ways to keep my love for it alive basically i think one of the things that fuels my past is that i do not want to be broke i like to enjoy life i like the final things of life i basically like to chill you know and i like to have fun i do things that i know that i'm happy with or things that make me happy one of them is not my job <laughs> i'm kidding my job makes me happy you know when i do stuff and when i take patients and you know see them get better with the way i care for them every day it, ge it genuinely makes me happy but aside from that um yeah i think the fact that i know that this actually makes me happy i go out of my way to do it or do more of it i also don't want to be broke I like money everybody likes money <laughs> everybody everybody likes money everybody loves money so yeah i think that would be the main thing i would say that fuels my path of entrepreneurship get it if you don't get it you forget about it <laughs> okay so question number three would be what's your take on ladies who date married men? i don't know what my take is people who should not be asking me this type of question people are free to make decisions of who they want to be in a relationship with if you're aware of the situation that you're getting yourself into you're an adult then that's your decision um yeah honestly it's that person's business whether you're dating a married man whether you're dating a single girl a single man rather it is whether you're dating a man or even a woman to be very fair it's your decision and it's your business i don't get involved okay um question number four would be when are we getting the week clothing so my <laughs> collection okay i know this is from my friend but this is so funny actually it's a backstory my clothing brand is called louis clothing i'm going to show you guys a couple of what i do somewhere on the screen maybe this side yeah so that's my baby i've had this business for the past for a long time since 2015 and you know we've been doing well and for some reason i thought that i lost my path because I was trying to listen to a lot of people's opinion on what I should do, what I shouldn't do. And then coupled with the fact that I made a decision to move here. So I moved here in July 2021. And a year before that, I literally, oh God, sorry. There's always police or ambulance siren, when one, when one passing, and I'm literally like sitting next to the window. But this is the only place I can do this, this, this video. So. Bear with me with any sounds you hear, okay? Car, siren, whatever it is, just focus on this beauty. Focus. Anyway, so yeah, when I decided to move here, which is going to be the story time for another time, I took out like an entire year to study. I was studying like I was back in school, so that kind of affected my business because I wasn't paying a lot of attention to it. And then after that, after I moved and everything, I haven't really figured out how to run my business in nigeria seeing that i have i live here now but yeah to your utmost surprise i did go back to nigeria sometime in february and i brought in some new stuff hopefully the lord will give me the grace to shoot those items and we can have you know a couple of things for this summer all right okay so <coughs> sorry my, my throat is just dry and i happen to have Mimosa. I've been drinking this all day, so I haven't even had anything to eat. Well, yeah. Can you notice how we're matching with my drink? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. The next one is: Are you <laughs> are you in a relationship, and have you ever heartbroken, girl? They've served me breakfast, left, right, front, and center. Okay? They've served me breakfast. Um, yeah, for me, I know this isn't part of the question, but how I get over things that stress me out, such as breakup, is that I focus on work. I have been picking up extra shifts. I've literally been working four or five times a week. Um, but yeah, that's it. It happens life happens the important thing to learn from every breakup is that 
you are enough. First of all, you need to find out the reason why your relationship didn't work. If you find out the reason it didn't work and you're very certain that it's not for me, you're not the mistake or you didn't make that mistake, you weren't the bad person in the picture, then you leave knowing fully well in your conscience that you're a good person and that you tried everything you can to make that relationship work. You can't force any man to stay with you, okay? You can't please everyone. You're not jello fries. If someone wants to leave, they can leave. Um, if someone wanted to stay, they, they will stay. So, I don't know, honestly. It is part of life. It is what people go through. You will get through it. You're stronger than you think. You're stronger than you know. You'll be fine, okay? Um, okay, so... The next question is, how many living creatures were in Noah's Ark? <laughs> I think my friends are stupid, honestly. <laughs> because this is this question is from one of my friends. How many living? I don't know, but I know that there, there was a male and female of every creature. Maybe I should Google. Let me Google it and see and see what comes up. Do you know the next last thing on last thing that I googled about? I'll tell you guys. Maybe I should do another video on what I googled or what's on my phone. So how many? creatures were in Noah's Ark so <laughs> is is okay what it says here is that brings our count up to a grand total of three million 858,920 animals aboard the ark two of each species except birds which number which except birds which number 14 each oh you babara babara oh you babara anyway yeah so 3.8 million i hope you're happy with this question just just ask yourself deep down within your soul are you happy with this question that you asked are you Cannot embarrass me, okay? Can't embarrass me. Um, one of my friends said, "What is the circumference of the Earth? Why the, do I look like what a geography or studio with you?" Let's find out. What is the circumference of the Earth? It's about forty thousand and seventy-five kilometers. Are you happy? Are you proud of yourself now? Another question is, what kind of contents are we to expect in your channel? Yes, baby girl. So, you guys know that I'm, I've just recently come back to YouTube. I've just started creating content for YouTube. Um, so far, we're going to be seeing a lot of fashion channels, hauls, trials, styling videos. We are going to see a lot of vlogs, travel vlogs. One thing I've said to myself this year is that I'm going to travel a lot. I'm going to go to at least three countries in a year every year three countries so far we've been to one country the vlog isn't out yet but we're going to we're going to do better okay editing is not good and half the time i come back from home work and i just need to sleep so we're going to do better so um yeah so we're going to see a lot of travel vlogs on the youtube we're going to see a lot of cooking videos let me tell you i wouldn't be my authentic self if i don't make it cooking because i'm always in the kitchen the people who know me and the people who are close to me, they know that I cook a lot. I like food, I eat a lot, and I cook a lot. So this channel wouldn't be complete without any cooking video. Alright, so we're going to be seeing a lot of food videos. And I know that you guys haven't really gotten into it and all of that, but please, please engage in my food videos. If you try my pepper soup, tell me. Tell me. Hmm? And if you have recipes, share with me. If you want me to try something new, tell me. But well, we should be, you know, doing it somehow. Um, I've recently just decided to add a like makeup slash beauty category in this whole thing. Um, I'm trying it out. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a beautician. I'm just an en enthusiast, and I'm pretty much going to be sharing different looks, how I do my makeup, my mistakes what I know how to do, what I don't know how to do, what I would like to try on, stuff like that, so yeah. And hopefully we're going to be seeing some um, videos on information about nursing, maybe, maybe, you should try that. Anyway, that's pretty much all I want to do for YouTube, yeah, should be fun. Um, 
next question is why do you like me <laughs> i like you because you're awesome you know yourself um you're actually a very funny friend i like the vibe around you like anytime you call like anytime you call me let me tell you this my friend every time she calls me we're shopping like we're doing on even when i'm on a shopping fast i've been on a shopping fast for, for the past two or three weeks but i know anytime she calls me especially on video call we are shopping and that's bad um but please yes yeah, i like you because you're cute you're fun i like the energy around you you're very funny you're just an absolute delight to be around Mwah. okay next question is do you currently have any oibo boyfriend no i don't <laughs> no i don't have any oibo boyfriend um yeah i mean i've met a couple of nice people but no no evil boyfriend at the at the moment i like i like people guys i like black guys <laughs> i don't know but yeah not at the moment mm. next question what's the greatest culture shock you've had there are a lot okay number one number one <sighs> You know how you're working in Nigerian hospitals and your superiors are older than you, you call them ma. You don't call them by their name. I call everybody by their name. Like everybody calls everybody by their name. It doesn't matter where you're from, you know. That's just the way it is. Which technically makes sense. When you meet people, call them by their name. You can only refer to aunt or uncle or, you know, sir with I don't know, but sure, in Nigeria, everybody's ma, so. Number two would be the, the living spaces. And when I moved here, um, I had this really bad panic attack because the room I was supposed to be in is literally like a matchbox. I had the worst panic attack because I'm used to, you know how in Nigeria, the houses are big, you, don't see, you can't see a small room. Everywhere, like you have space, you can stretch your legs, right? I felt like if I do like this, my hands are literally touching each side, each side of the wall, <laughs> the walls in the room. It was so bad. It was one thing I had to deal with. Another thing is how everybody's smoking on the road. Like they don't care. I've seen kids who are like maybe 14, 15, or even lower than that are casually walking you know walking on the road and they are smoking whether cigarettes or they're vaping if you try that in nigeria one uncle that is passing will give you backhand and collect a cigarette for me like where is your mother and your father do you understand like i had to eat, eat. i don't know how to explain it but you know it came at me there are so many things that i have seen here that's so different so different from what i'm used to but yeah, that is the kind of experience you have when you move to a completely different place, different country, different culture. So I was almost done and I got cut off. Um, so the last thing on my list was what made me relocate. Quite a couple of things, but I felt like I felt like I was tired of Nigeria. Like every day there's one terrible bad news that you're hearing like there's always something going wrong in nigeria and i'm quite frankly so tired of it so yeah i decided that it was time to move i did come to england first in 2019 i came to visit my friend who had just moved um i think earlier that year so sorry excuse me right um yeah, I came to see my friend who had moved earlier that year. We spent about two weeks. It was nice, honestly. I mean, it's always nice when you visit. And it's completely different when you leave here. Oh, that's another thing that happened to me. It's different when you leave here. Honestly, like, bills will kill you. Bills want to kill me. It's a choke. It's restricting my syphagus. Okay? Um, but yeah um i just felt like it was time to do something else and because i had studied nursing i knew that i had a bargaining chip that would make it all possible and i started preparing i spent the whole of 2020 plus lockdown 
studying and getting ready to move and you know it just happened so i'm happy am i happy yes i'm happy i made the decision is it easy no do i sometimes feel like i'm questioning my decisions and the reasons you know my actions for moving here yes i did upsides to it absolutely i did downsides of course there are downsides but yeah it's been so far so good um living here it's been an experience that i honestly love it's not bad so but yeah so that's pretty much it um thank you for this given please you guys when i say i want to do camp you people ask me you people should participate i'll be participate i don't like how you people are not participating especially instagram people you people will see my post and leave it and pass that's not how it's not it's not good it's not good when i blow now everybody will want to start fancy if i blow i'll not i'll not, I'll not do like i know you people know before you know that i'll not be doing you to be beyond original beyond hmm? anyway <laughs> thank you for coming to watch this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it um if you love it please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye